former WWE wrestler Chris Jericho now works for the new wrestling promotion, AEW, All Elite Wrestling. This McMahon was not happy about Chris Jericho signing with AEW, and rumor has it that Chris Jericho will never be allowed to return to WWE as long as Vince McMahon is in charge. After being forced to lose to the Iconics at WrestleMania 35, Sasha Banks was angry because Vince McMahon took the women's tag team titles off of her and Bayley, and Sasha Banks has not been seen in a WWE ring ever since. And according to backstage reports, this is because Vince McMahon was furious about Sasha Banks' attitude and her reaction to losing the tag team titles, and he never wants her to be seen in a WWE ring ever again, and his plan is to have Sasha Banks set out until her contract runs out. Batista made his much-anticipated in-ring return at WrestleMania 35, but Vince McMahon was unhappy with his performance in the match, as well as the build-up leading up to the match as well. Behind the scenes, reports stated that if Batista's return was successful, then Vince was ready to sign him to a huge money contract. But because his return in Vince's eyes was lackluster, Vince has pledged to never have Batista return ever again. Rob Van Dam recently signed with Impact Wrestling. The reason why RVD signed with Impact is because WWE has no interest in RVD anymore. RVD has tried to return to WWE many times over the past few years, but RVD wanted to work a part-time schedule for the company. WWE refused the part-time contract, so RVD went to Impact instead, and until WWE is open to signing RVD part-time, he will wrestle for Impact Wrestling part-time instead. There were rumors that James Ellsworth might be returning to SmackDown Live late last year, but those rumors abruptly ended when allegations of James sending inappropriate messages to random people online surfaced and James is now officially banned from the company. Luke Harper had a dark match with EC3 recently, and Vince McMahon told Luke Harper to his face that he really disliked the match. After this conversation, Luke Harper said on Twitter that he requested his release from WWE, but later on it was revealed that he was denied. WWE has no plans to use Luke Harper on TV ever again, and once his contract expires, he will likely be blocked from returning to WWE. Alberto Del Rio will likely never return to WWE because of his bizarre behavior and the wild incidents that have been reported over the past few years. Alberto Del Rio was released by Impact Wrestling last year after no showing an event. Alberto has also been involved in many random fights with random people in public. There was a recent news report published that stated that Vince McMahon has no interest in Alberto returning, and the reason why is because Vince McMahon has a zero tolerance policy for bad behavior. Enzo Amore and Big Cass were released by WWE in 2018. Enzo Amore was released after allegations against him surfaced, and Vince McMahon was angry with Enzo because he did not tell him sooner about the investigation. A few months later, Enzo was cleared of any wrongdoing, and Enzo wanted to return to WWE. But Vince McMahon and Triple H said that Enzo was no longer welcome back. Big Cass was released because the company had enough of his bad attitude and outlandish behavior. Big Cass's firing happened after he begged Carmella to get back together with him. This incident happened backstage, and the incident had many eyewitnesses. This incident, among many others, like Big Cass not rehearsing scripts and breaking the door to a restroom on a tour bus, likely means that Big Cass is forbidden from returning to WWE for life. Ever since Dean Ambrose left, the TV ratings have been declining, and behind the scenes, Vince McMahon lays part of the blame for the sagging TV ratings on Dean Ambrose's absence. Vince believes that Dean betrayed him by leaving the company when they needed him the most, and Vince has vowed that Dean Ambrose will not be allowed back in the company, and Dean is officially banned from WWE for life. Austin Aries 
was released in 2017. The reason why Austin Aries was let go was because WWE officials had a hard time dealing with Austin Aries and his bad attitude backstage. And WWE will likely never rehire him because they believe that he is too difficult to work with.